YT Dan Duel Links is sponsored by viewers like you. Support the channel directly by becoming a member. What's going on, my boys? YT Dan back at it again with a brand new video. Today, we're going to be doing something different. Um, this is going to be just a quick meta analysis slash breakdown. Want to talk to you guys about something different. Uh, as the 15th is coming extremely fast, um, is going to be coming up here in the next three days. We are faced with a brand new meta and also a brand new problem. So it looks like what's pretty funny that no one seems to have realized, maybe not even Konami, that uh, the Desperado Barrel Dragon Sartorius deck literally was being held back by Cockatus and Sun Saga. As long as these two monsters exist, the Desperado Barrel Dragon deck has been held at bay. Desperado Barrel Dragon's effect to destroy monsters is really good. However, it has no effect on something like Cockatus or Sun Saga as these two cards can survive Desperado's effect and then run him over on the next turn. So I put a poll here up on my YouTube and I asked you guys, you know, what did you think of the Desperado meta? You know, do you think that Konami made a mistake um, and forgot that this deck even existed? 58% of you <laughs> thought that, that was the case. Clearly a lot of people think that this was more of an oversight, unintended consequences, and this deck happened to get prominent basically from negligence. But honestly, I would say if that's the case, or if there's any other reason, I think that something needs to be done about this deck and what we can do about it is very simple. So as you guys already know, the Master of Destiny skill is with not without controversy. It has already been nerfed once. At the time there was um, the, I believe the rule was they need to have five monsters with different monsters with different names or five different cards with different names that had some type of coin toss effect. Then they went ahead and increased it up to seven and said that the skill won't activate unless you have seven cards with that effect. But here's my proposal. This skill is way too good because you have cards like Misjudge that literally turns into turns the game into um, and just pretty much just a weird tower situation. You know, Misjudge can be searched out. Misjudge is an Omni Negate. And even if uh, Misjudge doesn't um, get the guaranteed heads that you get from the coin toss, you get freaking a uh, literal 50 50 chance or who knows what the real number is of actually getting misjudged to negate a card after you've already spent your three heads coin toss. So misjudge is just a really, really strong card that's too broken for dual links. And honestly, there is no other card in dual links that provides an omni negate. So why in the world do we have something like Miss Judge that can negate a card for free? That's a level four as an 1800 beater that can easily be accessed through a skill and through a set of monsters that perpetuates the skill and this monster. I have no idea, but Miss Judge is again, not the problem. The problem is master of destiny. Also, I'm going to cut in for one more second to actually interrupt currently ranting YT Dan to talk about fucking cup of ace. All right. So Konami, we really need to talk about this. I don't know why you thought it was a good idea to give a deck that can run a fucking Omni negate. Just a neg one for your opponent, the ability to play two pot of greeds. This is not fair. Okay, it's not fair. It's flat out not fair. I don't care what the skill says or what it dictates on what you need to play. This card is not fair. Allowing your opponent to play Pot of Greed, sometimes two Pot of Greeds in one turn is absolutely ridiculous and not fair. I really want to point out and really put emphasis on that the Pot of Greed is not accessible in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links unless you play a skill that you have to actually use elemental fucking heroes and they have to actually be in the graveyard and you can't use it until like, I believe the second or third turn. 
So why is Sartorius able to play Pot of Greed twice on the first turn and then set a plethora of annoying back row? Why can Sartorius do that and no other deck can? Then on top of that, have the advantage of having an Omni Gate, an Omni Negate, monsters that can just pop monsters at will and then special summon Desperado Barrel Dragon, which can kill three monsters. Three. I'm just, just get out of my face. Just get out of my face and, and go back and talk to that other Dan because I, I'm about to lose my sh Head judging is the most degenerate card in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. People just play that shit in their deck randomly, similar to Power of the Guardian. And don't get me wrong, you know, maniacs are gonna be maniacs, but head judging is the one card in Master of Destiny that is absolutely disgusting and doesn't belong in Duel Links. And right now, if they were looking to balance the game so the Exceeds monsters can have a chance, they didn't do it right. Because as long as Desperado Barrel Dragon exists, as long as Omni Negates that are searchable exist, and as long as they can summon a 1700 beat stick and just cap a monster at any moment, most decks honestly don't stand a chance. And realistically, it's demotivating to play against a deck like this because it's literally a coin toss if you're gonna win or lose, and nobody likes that. Nobody likes that in Duel Links. If it's a tier zero meta, nobody likes that. And in, in Yu-Gi-Oh, if it's a tier zero meta, this deck isn't tier zero, but damn sure enough people play it to ruin your fucking day. So at the end of the day, what we need to do is change this Master of Destiny skill. And what should we do about Master of Destiny? We should go ahead and nerf it by forcing the opponent to use Arcana Force monsters or make it so that the Master of Destiny skill only works if the deck is only Arcana Force monsters and not random monsters that you can toss coins for. Because the coin the coin toss effects in this game are just way too fucking good. And they I guess they never really intended it for it to be that good. But goddamn, Master of Destiny is just way too good. So force people to use Arcana Force monsters, that will fix this issue, that will fix the problem, and that will actually make the game fair and give other decks a chance to shine. Because as long as Desperado Barrel Dragon exists, as long as Omni Negate searchable monsters exist, as long as a Karibo that can be searched exists, this deck will forever be broken and always be a problem until some sort of monster comes out saying it cannot be destroyed and Hazy Bossle Trace ain't gonna cut it. So that's it, my boys. That's all I really got to say. Uh, fuck Sartorius, fuck this Master of Destiny skill. Good luck on the 15th and uh, I'm gonna catch you boys in the stream coming up later on today. So thank you so much for watching and as always, keep it. Dang. Until they're down.